So we have expectation. And then you have chow. Then we have thief. Great fortune. So there could be somebody that is like, this could be a pregnant person. Like that person is waiting to have a child. Somebody is definitely expecting. Now, if these are two people that are in a relationship, these are people that felt like or feel like they could steal someone else's great fortune or some type of abundance, some type of blessings. It's like they're out to steal. These could be scam artists. This is definitely like a couple. Now, they could already have a child and they're expecting a child. These are people that target people that work very hard. People that are stable. And it's like they, they've been focused on a certain person, a certain two different people or something like that. Because you have the mature woman and the mature man. And then we have the lovers and then occupation. Now, these are people that could be attached to either this mature man or this mature woman. You could be this mature man. You could be this mature woman. But somebody definitely knows one of the people. And one of these people are connected to another person. Yeah, somebody is in despair. They can't believe something is not working or they could have gotten caught. It's like one person is concerned. If this is a couple, one person is concerned, another person is like carrying a child, but both of these people were, were in on some type of scheme. Now, with the lovers being here, these two people could be divine counterparts with the mature woman, the mature man. This could be, you know, this is like empress and emperor energy. But there's a distance. These are people that are not attached to each other. So one of these people, whether it's you or your divine counterpart, is attached to these people. Now, this could be a family member of theirs and, or their, and their significant other, or this could be a friend of theirs, like a close friend and their significant other. But these people are scam artists. One person is in regret. They could be in regret because they feel like something did not work out how they planned and now this main male they're concerned because they felt like whatever they were doing is something that they were getting away with or they could get away with And now it's like both of these people could have gotten caught up in um, whatever for whatever they did. Yeah, this was definitely some type of trickery. These two people are suffering in silence. Yeah, this is a cycle that have been completed. 
So whoever the person is that they were originally connected to, if this was your divine counterpart or these are people that you were connected to, these are people that you have completed a cycle out with. Somebody has completely changed um, their energy. They've gained the strength to end out this cycle. And they've been doing a lot of research. So this could be someone who have educated their self. They could know that they have a divine counterpart. They could know that you're their divine counterpart. Yeah, but karmic justice is being served. If this is a karmic cycle that has ended out, these are people that are going through a lot of financial lacks because of how, however they try to gain, they don't know that they're manifesting karma. These are people that are like off into fraud, scams. But it's like whatever they have did, they're concerned. This is something that is going to be embarrassment to them. Like this is going to be like a lot of people are going to find out what they were doing behind the scenes. We have Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn or a Libra. One of these people could be a Capricorn or a Libra. Yeah. So whoever these people are, these are people that could be struggling with some type of addiction. Yeah, karmic justice is definitely being served. You have desperate, black magic. There's a karmic masculine. Then you have lustful energy. And then Leo. You could be a Leo. One of these people could be a Leo. But whoever this karmic masculine energy is, that person is concerned. This person desperately could have used some type of magic over the person that is your divine counterpart, or they could have tried to do this to you. And they felt like if this was to keep you and this person, you and your divine counterpart away from each other, they place some type of magic over them to keep them in like a lustful energy where they would be like in the Knight of Wands. They will be hooking up with multiple people, having one night stands. This person would just completely stay in a low vibrational energy. They would completely stay confused. They would not be able to end out a cycle. They would not be strong enough to walk away from them. Now that all of this has backfired, they're concerned. They don't know what's going to happen next. It's like they're in fear, they're panicking, they're paranoid. Because they feel the distance. They feel like this, whoever your divine counterpart is, is distancing their self for them, um, from them or they have. They've educated their self. This person has took their power back now that they're no longer confused. Now they could have definitely found out that somebody that was close to them was desperate desperately wanting to keep them away from whoever you are and they you know stooped low as to use a magic over them they did this in a very sneaky way and they felt like they wouldn't get caught Yeah, this is someone who felt like they had the control to block whoever your divine counterpart off, um, is off from changing or making changes in their life. Yeah, they feel like they, this is the only way that they would be able to hold on to your divine counterpart is if they used this magic over them. This is sad. And they have been doing this for a long time. Like as long as... They could have been attached to that person, around that person. They've been doing this. 
but this is someone that they didn't know was off into whatever they're off into yeah this person is someone that's definitely like they they're on drugs They feel like this magic would keep your um, divine counterpart not only in a lustful energy, but this could be struggling with some type of addiction. Yeah, so this, these are people that are going through some type of bad karma. You have the Wheel of Fortune popping out in the reverse. It's like they've tried to cause a setback for your divine counterpart and they've completely set their self back. They lost all control over their self with the decisions that they made, desperately wanting to have control over your divine counterpart. They never expected for them to gain foresight. They never expected for them to, you know, change their direction, find balance in their life. They never expected for change because they felt like they had control over a change or their, the changes that they wanted to make. And somebody here, this could be someone's wife or someone's husband. That person is someone that is um, very low vibrational. It's like they're, they're, they stoop low to get money. They, they'll do anything for a dollar. Now, this is somebody that definitely knew that your divine counterpart secretly has emotions for you. This illusion was supposed to also have them in fear of the way that they feel about you. But they didn't know this would cause an emotional awakening for your divine counterpart. And this would give them the strength to complete this cycle out. Make these changes that they did not expect to um, see them make with the Eight of Wands being here. Something happened quick. Yeah, you have the Ten of Swords. It's like they wanted your divine counterpart in an energy where they would not be able to come back from. Like a mental breakdown. These were definitely psychic attacks that they kept placing over whoever your twin is. Their main goal was to keep that person like Trapped in fear, feeling trapped in life, delayed, slowed down, not knowing which direction they should go, and just completely confused. Yeah, this was the ultimate betrayal. It's like they they had no clue that this person, and whoever the person is that they, is expecting, they could be sitting back playing with black magic. This is sad. And this is why they have manifested so much bad luck. It's like they're watching whoever your divine counterpart is move forward. They're watching them make this transition. And they feel stuck. They feel slowed down. They felt like the more and more they did something, they would be able to keep that person stuck, not knowing whatever they're doing. They're only doing it to their self. Yeah, this is someone who have definitely overcame an addiction. They've regained control, reclaimed their power, and they've released whoever this person is. Because, as I say, one person is connected closely to your divine counterpart. But they have either a, a husband or a wife or somebody that they're in a relationship with that's like behind the scenes helping them. And this is someone that they have kids with. 
Now, they could have had your divine counterpart feeling sorry for them, getting help from them, supporting them, and they were using these kids to get money from your divine counterpart or just to get them to feel sorry for them, to want to stay attached to them. But they don't know the betrayal that these two people, or they didn't know the betrayal that these two people were causing behind the scenes to keep them delayed. They didn't find out until they completely detached. Until they were completely able to focus. Yeah. You got the five of wands, the five of swords. These are people that are very envious, very jealous um, of a potential connection that you and your divine counterpart um, could have. They feel like you're this queen or king of pentacles. They're this king or queen of pentacles. You and this person come together. You'll be able to build, um, grow together, manifest together. But these people can't because they're too focused on how to steal, how to scheme, how to scam different people. And they're not realizing this is why they're manifesting a lot of bad luck. This is why they have completely set their self back. These were rivals and hidden enemies. Yeah, both of these people are like in secret competition, but these are people that play dirty. These are people that always feel like they have some type of trick up their sleeve. Now, somebody don't know that if this is, say if this is a friendship, your divine counterpart was attached to a person for a long time. They view them as a friend and the person that they're in a connection with, this is someone that either tried to sleep with your divine counterpart and they ended up getting hurt. If your divine counterpart kind of like blocked them off, left them out in the cold, they were trying to like sleep with them. And it didn't happen how they wanted to. It's like they did this behind the scenes. They felt like they would be able to, you know, sleep with your divine counterpart and sleep, be sleeping with this person or in a connection with whoever this friend is. And if this friend is someone that your divine counterpart ha com has confided in and told them how they felt about you, the person that this friend is in a relationship with, they're jealous of you. They're envious of you. They're upset because they feel like they was rejected by your divine counterpart. But whoever this friend is, they don't know this. This could be something that your divine counterpart did not tell this friend. I'm so done. This is sad. Yeah, the Empress in the reverse. This is someone that is definitely um, very unstable. It's like they don't love whoever this friend is that they're in a relationship with and they don't love their self. It's like this is someone that your divine counterpart could view as someone that does not have their own stability. They're not stable. This is someone that's not willing to put in the effort or work hard to have a stable foundation for their kids. Even if the person, whoever this friend is, is someone that's not in that energy. They feel like, why isn't that person, this person that could have tried to sleep with them, take it where it resonates, why isn't that person working? Why isn't that person trying to make sure they have a stable foundation for their kids? 
Why is this person priorities um, all over the place? Why don't they have their life in order? Yeah, this someone who definitely got behind the scenes and they tried to um, sleep with another person. They felt like they would be able to get your divine counterpart to take care of them, feel sorry for them or something like that, provide for them. And if whoever the friend is have talked about your divine counterpart being supportive to them, looking out for them, helping them. It's like they got behind the scenes and started studying them. <clears throat> your divine counterpart watching them because they felt like they can get that person to support them and take care of them. But they ended up getting rejected. And it could have made them feel very insecure. Yeah. They feel like they rejected them because they're in love with you. And it's like whoever this friend is, this person is someone that watches you. They're admired by you. They could be interested in you or attracted to you. And this could be why they're in secret competition with your divine counterpart, both of these people have a hidden motive, but they're not on the same page. Whatever they're on the same page doing and these hidden motives that they have behind the scenes of why they're doing what they're doing and why they teamed up to try to keep this, um, your divine counterpart away from you, it has all, it has brought in a lot of despair. It has brought in a lot of bad luck. And now they're sitting back like very nervous. They're stuck in guilt. Because they didn't think or expect that they would be like caught or found out. Yeah, this is definitely these are definitely people that they cannot trust. And it's like these two people are in a relationship. Neither one of these people want to be in a connection with each other, but they're bound to toxic attachments, negative activities, low vibrational energy. That's what's keeping these two people together. It's like they're partners in crime. These are people that are not interested in each other. One person is interested in you. Another person is interested in your divine counterpart. But they're both in this energy of the four of cups. They feel rejected. Yeah, because they feel like whoever you and your divine counterpart is, you and them are in this lover's energy. There's a mutual attraction a mutual bond, you and that person could share the same things that you want out of life, you and that person could have the same goals, or they just know that you and that person will come together and um, be able to build a successful foundation, a positive foundation. Yeah, you have reconciliation and proposal. They feel like both you and your divine counterpart want the same thing out of life. They feel like you and this person are coming together on the same page. And whoever these two people are, they didn't get in a connection on the same page. Both people are in this energy of being unstable. And this is definitely a connection that they don't want to be in, but they feel stuck to each other. They felt like they could ruin a connection between you and your divine counterpart. Yeah, these are people that are disappointed. They're heartbroken because this didn't work. Yeah. 
They feel like they were never going to be able to predict this outcome. They solely got behind the scenes and tried to interfere with this connection. And it's like whoever this, this friend is in a relationship with, this person often like steps outside of the commitment. They sleep with other people. It's like they've put them in a third party. And this could be something that they don't know. Yeah, this is someone that's definitely like, this is, <laughs> you have snake. Yeah, this is a hidden enemy to them. It's like while they're trying to deceive whoever your divine counterpart is, and this is someone that has supported them, helped them, felt sorry for them, been there for them. They're attached to someone that's in the same energy that they're in with your divine counterpart. And they don't understand why they cannot detach from that person. They already feel bound to this person through children. But all of the things that they have done with that person is what's keeping them attached to that person. There's a lesson that they have to learn. This is a major lesson that they're going to both have to learn. Yeah, somebody is definitely happy that um, this could be your twin. They could be happy that they, they're they celebrating the changes that they have made. Now, whoever these two people are, they're going through anxiety because they're dealing with a lot of karma. They're going through a lot of things or they're facing a lot of things that they did not expect to go through. Yeah. These are people that are that are at a stalemate and they don't know what to do. But something that they did behind the scenes, they're very concerned about. Now, whoever this friend is, they could be concerned that a child is not theirs or something like that. If this person is someone that's um, expecting a child and they know that this person have been like sleeping around with different people, they could be concerned. They're not only concerned that this did not work. They're not only concerned that your divine counterpart has made changes in their life. Now they're concerned about this person. They feel played. Yeah, equal give and take. I'm so done. Whatever you do, come back on you tenfold. As they felt like they were playing some type of game with your divine counterpart or playing your divine counterpart behind the scenes, they were being played by someone that was um, close to them. I was getting ready to say that was cursed. This person could definitely have some type of curse over them. If this is someone that's off into magic, they've cursed themselves some type of way playing with whatever they have been playing with. It's like everything is coming back to them. Now, they could have tried to play some type of magic over your twin to lure them towards them, to get them to sleep with them, and that did not work. Yeah, whoever this is, somebody, whoever this person is that has bad intentions for you, your divine counterpart, whoever these two people are, they're upset because you're someone that's a good person. But it's like, it's one person that has these bad intentions. Whoever this friend is, they're secretly admiring you. Whoever this, this person is that they're in a relationship with, they just don't like you because of how your divine counterpart feels about you. The changes that they have made. How whatever they were doing did not work over them. Now, it could have worked over whoever this friend is. 
but it didn't work over your divine counterpart. Yeah, somebody is pissed off and mad because a love spell isn't working. Yeah, they're pissed off and mad because this love spell isn't working. And they don't like you because you're a good person. Yeah, they're panicking. They're worried. This is someone that carries a lot of low self-esteem. They didn't, they didn't expect for whatever they were doing to cause an awakening. We have Capricorn. You could be a Capricorn. One of these people could be a Capricorn. Yeah, this is a major lesson. A major lesson that these two people have to learn. It's like they're teaching each other a major lesson. The longer they stay attached to this person, they're receiving karma for what this person did. And this person is getting hit. It's like they're bound to each other's karma. They've done a lot together behind the scenes, but this friend did not know the hidden motive or hidden motives that the person that they're in a relationship with, have kids with, could be married to, had behind the scenes against them. They thought they were working together. But yeah, equal give and take. Whatever you do, come back on you tenfold, good or bad. These are people that are experiencing whatever whatever they have put out, they're receiving it back. 